Hey guys, me and Netsy here, and uh, we're just going to show you guys a little video. Ryan has uh, an update here for you on a Hyperion to NG Inferno clutch that we cut, and now they've shut out and looking great. So stay tuned. Real quick mail call for you guys. We got three letters in this week, and uh, you know, it's possible that they were there for maybe more than a week or so. We go about once a week, but three letters in, and Ryan's not feeling that great, so I'm taking over a little bit on my own. So here we go. Let's see, here. the first one is for from J and N and V Reptiles. Um, these guys are. Uh, Friends of ours from Instagram, I believe. And they sent us a letter here. Thank you so much for your support. A little note, they cut out, cool design, business card, some nice pictures of animals on there. Uh, well, you guys can see that. So I'll list them down below. Jan V, I'm sorry, Jan, J and N and V, reptiles. This is a pretty cool snake logo here with their name on it. Another one, it's pretty cool. Little die cut there. J and N and V, reptiles. Thank you very much. We're gonna hang these on the uh, old refrigerator, the incubator, the egg decator, and the Vader. <laughs> so thank you very much for the stickers. Uh, we like stickers here. It's pretty cool. It's a fun little business we got going on here with uh, sending out some stickers and getting some stickers. So I appreciate it. All right. Here's a letter from Kelly Kelly from Small Town Exotics. Small Town Exotics, a little I thought it was a letter, really it's just a, like an invoice, sort of. Um, it's pretty cool. And some Small Town Exotics stickers. Pretty nice. Snake with a tongue sticking out there. It's pretty cool. Hopefully you guys can see that. Small Town Exotics. I like that. Add that to our list. And one more. I'm not getting any t-shirts here that I have to put on, so it's not so bad. Um, I don't want people uh, seeing me in really tiny shirts or anything. Hey, Osman Reptiles. This is a magnet, magnet business card. And a couple of rounded cornered stickers from Osman Reptiles. Osman Reptiles. Out on Morph Market as, it can, as I can see. You guys probably can't read that that well. But very cool, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. We love getting mail. We think it's pretty cool that people send us mail and that, you know, we try to send everybody else stickers as well <laughs> when they send us stuff. Um, but uh, I really appreciate it. And this magnet is easy to hang up. What was this magnet is easy to <laughs> hang up. Boop. So uh, these stickers and we're gonna put them on there. So thank you guys very much. That's our mail call for the week. Hopefully we'll be getting more from other people soon. Thanks and thanks. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna show you clutch. Um, we showed you the clutch cutting and maybe a couple pictures on Instagram and Facebook of this one. Um, so if you want previews, tune into those things. But um, we're gonna do the Enchi Inferno clutch that went to the Hyperion. So that's Enchi, Pastel, Yellow Belly, Enchi Woma to a Super Pastel Fire Calico. And this is the one that we said uh, Mike Ross had bought the mystery egg. And he's super stoked because he got the most beautiful snake I've ever seen. So. We're gonna go through this, they're looking awesome. 
They all started eating. This one's empty. <laughs> why is it stickered if it's empty? I don't know why it's just sticker all that. <laughs> so funny. Um, I don't want to start with this one. We go, we go a different route here. All right. Oh man, this is the got the one that's gonna bite the crap out of me. This is the one that we're gonna try to give. <laughs> it is trying it. All right. It's very bitey. So I'm gonna try to get it to relax a little bit so you can see it, but this is what I believe is a pastel yellow belly. If you look at those flames. Try to get a little head out here. Hey, how you doing? Very pretty. Every one of these, not every one of these, one of them, is it one? One of them is female. I think the rest of them are male. So that's a beautiful That is a male. Meal. Do you want to explain to everybody what happened to you and why we know it's going to eat? <laughs> it like out of the egg latched onto my finger and wrapped me up. Like it wasn't even like a defensive bite. It was like, I'm um, taking you home for dinner. It was like the worst bite I've ever gotten from a hatchling. It's ridiculous. This girl is beautiful. And she's gonna stay here. This is a super pastel fire yellow belly. She's so bright. This is crazy. Along the very belly here, there's like a yellow line. And on the dorsal, there's like a brighter yellow stripe. I don't know if you can pick that up in the video or not. She is just super clean and bright. Very beautiful. So, yes, super, super fly yellow belly. All right. Super fly yellow belly, hidden gym Um, let me, let me see. Where's my buddy? Nope. My buddy's over here. This is the one. I tried to <laughs> tried to eat me for lunch. It was pretty funny. Ben thought so anyway. That's the one that bit you? Yes. yes this is the one that bit you. This is an inferno. So this is pastel yellow belly hinge woman. Very good looking animal. Great feed response. <laughs> I love how Hidden Gene Wilma, when mixed with pastel, just starts scrunching up all the alien heads and making these busy, squiggly kind of patterns. Very cool. And I can't wait for him to find a new home. We found the buyer. This is, nope. Come on, keep me straight, Ben. I don't know, you're. This one. This one, I'm not quite sure what it is. This is the only one I'm a little confused about. Has a gorgeous head stamp. Has orange flames. Very clean. It's definitely yellow belly, right? It's definitely pastel. It's gotta be fire. No? Maybe it's not fire. I think it's Enchi. Fire. Definitely Enchi. Don't think Hidden G1 was in here. Mm -mm. But, super cool looking animal. We also have Calico in play here, and we're not really. It's, Don't really see Calico in it. It's just crazy. Calico should be in a lot of these, and. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's ridiculous. That belly. Mm -hmm. It doesn't get much cooler than that. I think it's a little bit cooler than that. Alright, so this is the one. Uh, yes. This is the one that we're going to be keeping. Which is the match to the one Mike Ross got. And it's really surprising how this combo turned out. I believe this is uh, Enchi Fire Inferno. So, Pastel, Yellow Belly, Hinge Woma, Enchi Fire. I mean, look at this. 
the yellow belly super bright orange flames just beautiful but it absolutely turned out completely different than I thought it would look the uh, we've made some fire hidden gene Wilma combos before and uh, of course the Enchi hidden gene Wilma combo before but put them all together totally different result than I expected very yellow and this one is pretty much the same one same combo well you'll see the flames on this are so much bigger and brighter look at this good grief I'm never selling a lottery egg again <laughs> <laughs> this thing is so gorgeous. Look at this. Man. Like, the flames come all the way up, like, all the way up the neck. There's, like, nowhere they're not. It's crazy. So, yeah. That is... Just be happy that we... That Produce is something awesome. Super nice. Has all of his fingers and toes. Don't but be bitter. Not bitter. <laughs> Look, it almost, it's even like blushing up into the head, like from the neck. Like that's crazy. Never seen that before. <laughs> so this is a wild animal. It's a super powerhouse male. Can't wait to see what our buddy makes from it. Maybe he'll sell us a female from a clutch he gets. But yep. That is the clutch. Just started eating, had their first meals this last week. Um, two more weeks, they'll be ready to rock and roll. That's all. <laughs> I, you know what I just realized? What? The melty tail from the firefly stuff that we have, that fire gene, that cleanup thing, mm -hmm. is, is in that line. That's yeah. probably what it is. It could be our little weird, we have the knot I don't know, I want to call it a new gene, but like we have some weird cleanup thing that we see moves through some of the animals that we produce. So we haven't isolated it or we're not selling it as an extra new gene, but you can definitely tell something a little bit is going on. Do you want me to show the fire? Yeah, the, the one female holdback that we have that has that gene in it. So this is just a single gene fire. She's really, really pretty, but there's this thing here on the back end. It's like a ringer, but it's not. It's like melty. We we called it the melty tail for a little while, but like, yeah. So there might be something else extra in there, but we've been lazy and haven't tried to isolate it. So maybe you can. Netsy and I are back on the couch. Hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this video. Please give us a like and a subscribe and uh, hit that notification icon so you can tell when we have new videos coming out or uh, if we have giveaways or whatever. So follow along. Thanks guys.
and versatile. It bends every which way. Mm -hmm. Do not think when I first got into these that that's what it looked like.